All right, guys, coming at you again with another DGAF production. Um, I wanted to shed a light on some situ a situation that I was recently in here with my truck. Uh, the 7.3, of course, is a diesel engine. It runs off glow plugs instead of spark plugs. Um, I recently had an issue with a cold start. My, my glow plugs themselves wouldn't heat up. Uh, me not being new to a diesel engine, but new to a diesel engine. I, I mean, I had another truck prior to this one, which I was in an accident and ended up flipping. Um, that's a story for another day uh, but I recently purchased this truck back in October and I think the guy that I purchased it from didn't do much maintenance to the vehicle so I'm having to backtrack and uh, take care of some things that should have been taken care of considering the truck has 330,000 miles on it um, but the issue that I was having was with cold starts you turn the key on the wait to light start would come on but the when it went off the truck would just turn over and over and over and over and I mean eventually it would just turn over until the batteries died I mean, considering it was like 10 degrees outside, the, the fucking motor was cold and it wouldn't start. But I, I did some research and looked into it because uh, I don't like to just ask questions. I do do research before I do ask questions. Um, and come to find out, my glow plug relay had went out. So, I mean, it, it was middle of the week. I only have Mondays off. So I, I tried to figure out a way to be able to use my vehicle until Monday when I could have the relay changed and come to find out if you look here not this relay but this one right here this is your glow plug relay this is your constant hot from the battery this is your feed and I'm not sure I think it's this one is your your line from the PCM and this may be a ground not exactly sure on these two but I know this is your constant battery feed 12 volts and this is the feed that goes to the, the glow plug harnesses themselves if you take uh, like a, a pair of channel, I used a pair of channel locks because they were long enough for me where I didn't have to crawl up in the engine bay. But if you take a pair of channel locks, you can jump from here to here and that will manually bypass the, the glow plug relay and allow you to heat up your glow plugs so that you can get your vehicle to start. I mean, it worked for me temporarily. Um, it's not something that I would continue to do on regularly. Uh, I think the relay itself run me about $75 here at my local uh, advance. Um, it took me three and a half minutes to change it. I mean, it's, I think it's two, one, two, maybe three. I, I don't remember exactly. I know two for sure right here. You undo those two bolts. Uh, you undo these, these four nuts. Take the wires off, drop the new one on, screw it down. I mean, that's that's pretty much it on as far as replacing the relay itself. Um, but, I mean, if, you, if you're in a pinch and you need to get somewhere, you can totally just jump across those two, and it will heat up the glow plug so that you can get the vehicle started. I recommend changing that relay as soon as possible. Uh, while I was had it down, uh, taken apart, I went ahead and changed the glow plugs and the, the valve cover gaskets. Only reason I changed the gaskets because they they have the harness themselves uh, made into the gasket, and like I said, the guy that had the truck before me, I don't think he did much maintenance itself to the vehicle. So I'm trying to catch it up. Uh, it's got eight new glow plugs, new valve cover gaskets, uh, new glow plug relay. Uh, the wire coming from the PCM to the relay itself was actually not broke, but broke. Uh, it was kinked up and it was about to break so I went ahead and we had that fix that put the wire back together correctly um, ever since then uh, you know it, it, wait till lights wait start light comes on you know, boom, boom fires right up uh, after that I had problems with the batteries uh, they were just old tired so we went ahead got new batteries nothing fancy just your average uh, whatever O'Reilly's batteries I mean Boom, boom, fires right up. So I ain't got no complaints. Uh, but if you're ever in a pinch, you know, you can totally just jump across those two posts right there. Once again, it's this one and this one on your on the back relay. Jump across those two and the truck will fire right up after, of course, about 30. I held it on for about 30 seconds, just long enough to about the wait to start light time. But yeah, just if you're ever in a pinch, you go ahead and try that. Um, that'll definitely help you rule out issues with the vehicle. But yeah, y'all have a good night. Appreciate your watch.